New Habit Reinforcement. So far in this training, you have learned how you can break bad habits and form new good habits effectively. Once you have created a new habit, it is a good idea to reinforce it. Fortunately, there are a number of different ways that you can do this. Having taken all of the time and trouble to break a bad habit and create a new empowering one, the last thing you want is to break the new habit. So here are some good ways to prevent you from sabotaging a new habit. Use a physical interrupter. If this sounds crazy, then please stay with us. Before we get into how using a rubber band helps you to prevent the breaking of a new habit, we want to tell you that failing to perform a habit is something that people do all of the time. This can be something that they have done for years and a good habit. So if you always take a shower when you get up in the morning, but you have woken up late and only have time for a quick wash instead, then this is okay. It does not mean that you have failed as a person. It is a natural thing to happen from time to time. How does a rubber band help with all of this? Well, it is a really easy concept to grasp. Just place a rubber band around your wrist. You could use a stretch bracelet if you prefer this. And any time that you feel like breaking your new habit, just snap the rubber band. The snapping of the rubber band triggers another action that will prevent you from breaking the habit. So, if you have got into the habit of exercising every day and then suddenly you don't feel like exercising, just snap the band to focus back to the good habit. When using the rubber band method to reinforce a new habit, you need to prepare an alternative behavior or action to follow so that you can stay on track. The snapping of the band forces you to be more aware of your thoughts, actions, and behaviors. It is a physical reminder that has better impact than a thought. Keep wearing the rubber band and snapping it until you no longer need to do this. There will come a time when you are much more aware of your thoughts, actions, and behaviors and no longer require it. Make a change to your environment. This is all about avoiding the triggers that prevented you from doing the right things prior to forming the new habit. A lot of these triggers will still exist in your environment, so where you can make changes to your surroundings. So, for example, if your friend always calls around to see when you want to take your daily run, talk to them and arrange for them to come at a later time. Or maybe your running route takes you through an area where some of your friends live who always try and stop you running, then choose a different route. Spice up your reward system. We strongly recommend the use of a reward system to create all of your new habits. Over time, your reward system may lose its appeal and not motivate you as much as it used to. If this happens, then it is time for you to rethink your current reward system. So if a nice bubble bath was the reward for exercising every day for a week, and this does not excite you anymore, then come up with something new, such as a trip to the shops or an evening watching a movie with your family. Make a wager with someone. You can make a wager, a bet, with someone that you know and trust that you will stick to your new habit. The wager needs to be high enough so that it will really hurt you if you fail. This will provide you with more accountability for your actions and act as a strong deterrent to giving up on your new habit. How much you are prepared to wager is up to you. Only you know what is going to be really painful for you. You don't have to use money. You can make the wager around losing something that is really precious to you, such as a piece of jewelry or a set of golf clubs. Just ensure that the pain will be really intense if you lose the wager. In the next video, we will discuss empowering habits that you should live by. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.